Have you ever thought about how fragile life can be? How, in the blink of an eye, everything we know and love can be turned upside down? And in that moment, when you are faced with an impossible battle, what keeps you going? For 12-year-old Kim Carter, the answer to this question was clear, though it took years of struggle, pain, and unimaginable strength for her to realize what truly mattered. Kim wasn't an ordinary child. She was extraordinary, a girl full of life, laughter, and dreams. She had always been the center of her parents' world, a ray of sunshine that brightened their lives with every smile and laugh. As an only child, her bond with her parents, Annabelle and Mark Carter, was unbreakable. They did everything together, from family trips to game nights, where they'd spend hours just laughing. But life has a way of throwing curveballs when you least expect it. And for the Carter family, that curveball came in the form of a rare and aggressive disease, leukemia. It was the kind of diagnosis no one ever sees coming, the kind that makes time stand still, that takes your breath away, and that changes everything in an instant. Kim's journey started like any other 12-year-olds. She was full of energy, playing outside, going to school, dreaming about the future. She wanted to become a teacher someday, to help other kids learn and grow, just like her favorite teachers had helped her. But one day, things began to change. It was subtle at first. Kim felt tired more often than usual. She found herself sitting out during recess when she used to run and play with her friends for hours. Then came the unexplained bruises, the paleness in her cheeks, the fevers that wouldn't go away. At first, her parents thought it was just a cold, something that would pass. After all, kids get sick all the time, right? But as the days went on, the symptoms only worsened. Annabelle and Mark watched helplessly as their once lively daughter became weaker and more fragile. They took her to doctor after doctor, each visit more terrifying than the last until finally the devastating diagnosis came. Kim had leukemia. What would you do if you were told your child's future was uncertain? If every moment became a battle to save their life? The Carters were shattered. Their world, once so full of hope and promise, had crumbled in a matter of seconds. The doctors explained that Kim's form of leukemia was rare and aggressive. And while there were treatments, there were no guarantees. Chemotherapy, radiation, hospital stays, it all loomed ahead of them like a dark storm cloud. But through it all, it was Kim who remained the strongest. She had always been wise beyond her years. And in this moment, when her parents were falling apart, she became their rock. Don't worry, mom, dad, she said one night after they returned from yet another doctor's appointment. I'm going to beat this. I'll get better. You'll see. And so the fight began. Chemotherapy wasn't easy. Kim endured months of treatments that left her exhausted, sick, and in constant pain. The medicine that was supposed to save her also took so much from her. She lost her hair, once long and golden, in clumps. She spent more time in hospitals than she did at home. And yet, even on her worst days, Kim never lost her spirit. She kept smiling, kept laughing when she could, kept telling her parents it would be okay. But there were moments, moments late at night, when she was alone in her hospital room, that Kim let her guard down. She was only 12 years old after all, and she was scared, terrified even. What do you do when you're scared but still want to be strong for everyone else? How do you find hope in the darkest of times? For Kim, that hope came in the form of someone unexpected, Keanu Reeves. It had started as a simple distraction. On particularly bad days when the pain was too much and she couldn't sleep, Kim would watch movies to escape, to forget about the needles, the tests, and the illness for just a little while. One night, her dad brought in a DVD of The Matrix. He figured the action-packed film might take Kim's mind off things for a while. What he didn't expect was the profound effect it would have on her. From the moment she saw Neo, the unlikely hero of the story, Kim was hooked. There was something about his journey, from an ordinary person to someone who could take on the impossible, that resonated with her. She saw herself in Neo, in his struggle to fight against overwhelming odds, and his belief that he could make a difference, no matter how small. As Kim's treatments continued, she began watching more of Keanu Reeves' films. John Wick became another favorite. In that character, Kim saw a man who had lost everything, but still found the strength to keep going. 
It wasn't about the action or the stunts for Kim. It was about the message behind the characters. The idea that no matter how hard life gets, no matter how much pain you endure, you can keep moving forward. Kim needed that message. She needed to believe that even though her body was failing her, even though the doctor's faces grew more serious with each passing week, she could still keep fighting. Imagine finding strength in someone who doesn't even know you exist. Could you hold on to that hope even when the odds are against you? Kim did, and it was that hope that kept her going when the treatments began to fail. After months of battling leukemia, the doctors delivered the news that no parent wants to hear. Despite their best efforts, the cancer was too aggressive. There were no more treatments to try, no more options left. Annabelle and Mark were devastated. They had held on to hope for so long, believing that somehow, some way, their little girl would beat this disease. But now they were faced with the unbearable truth. Kim didn't have much time left. Kim, ever the brave soul, took the news in stride. She didn't cry, she didn't get angry. Instead, she thought long and hard about what she wanted in the time she had left. And then she made her wish known. Mom, Dad, she said one day, her voice barely above a whisper. I want to meet Keanu Reeves. It wasn't a grand request. She didn't want to go to Disneyland or have a big party. She just wanted to meet the man who had unknowingly given her the strength to fight for so long. Annabelle and Mark, heartbroken but determined to grant their daughter's final wish, immediately sprang into action. What would you do if you had one last chance to make your child's dream come true? They reached out to everyone they knew, sharing Kim's story in the hopes that somehow someone could make the connection. Social media posts were made, hashtags were created, and soon Kim's story began to spread. It wasn't just a story about a sick child. It was about a young girl's unshakable belief in the power of hope and the way a complete stranger had become her hero without even knowing it. Days passed, and as Kim's condition worsened, Annabelle and Mark feared that time was running out. Would Keanu see the message? Would he know how much he had meant to their daughter? They didn't know, but they refused to give up. And then one day, the unthinkable happened. Keanu Reeves, known for his humility and kindness, had seen the post. He had heard about Kim's story, and it had touched him deeply. For Keanu, this wasn't just another fan request. It was a reminder of the struggles and losses he had faced in his own life and the strength it takes to keep going. He didn't hesitate. Arrangements were made for him to visit Kim, privately, without the press or cameras. This wasn't about publicity. It was about fulfilling the wish of a brave young girl who had fought so hard for so long. When Annabelle and Mark told Kim that Keanu was coming to see her, the joy that lit up her face was unlike anything they had seen in months. Can you imagine what it must feel like to know that your hero is coming? That the person who has unknowingly given you strength is about to walk into your life? For Kim, it was the greatest gift she could have ever asked for.